over here! If you're unfamiliar with how Draw the Music works, uh, Oscar asked for a bunch of uh, music tracks on Twitter of, like, songs that I would probably not know uh, Mm -hmm. from video games. And what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to play them and then I'm going to draw effectively what I hear. Pretty much. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm interested to see what everybody picked out. I'm interested to see how it goes. Yeah. Okay. So let's start with the first track, I guess. All right. Uh, this first track, uh, coming at you right now, I'm at the very least going to say who, uh, should I say who submitted it or should, do you want to wait for me to say that at the end? You know, uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll wait why for it we, at the end. Why don't, we, why don't we wait for it at the end? Yeah, I feel right, like so. I feel like that is a good idea. Also, hi, Ultima. It's good to see you. Hey, hey. All right, here All right. is track number one. Me, uh, let me know when you start it. Yeah, give me track number one. All right. There we go. And three, two, one, play. All right, hopefully it's coming through fine for everyone. Uh, looks like it's picking up on Streamlabs. Hi, P. Oak. Okay, hold on. Awesome. If the music is too loud, let me know. Uh, I can turn it down so you guys can hear Oscar a little better. Actually, let me, mm-hmm. let me turn that down. Um, from, from what I hear, yeah, uh, uh, Shadow Mage says it's it's a little quiet, but it's coming through, so maybe raise it just a okay, little raise bit. Okay, raise it? Raise it, raise it, raise yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, hold up. We're yeah, pro- raise it just a little bit. We're professionals. We know what we're doing. <laughs> hey, Womboy's here. Womboo, hi. Oh, man. Okay. So what vibe are you getting from this one? I'm getting okay. Hold on. Uh, the person who sent this one to me, um, I'm just gonna say I like this one in particular because I think this is something that Gage would actually like, specifically because of the instrumentation and w- the kind of theme it follows. It does. It does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, we, we got a really good selection here. Like, people actually suggest some really good ones. I tried to avoid ones that were super fucking obscure. Uh, like, you know, ones that actually, like, you know, come from games that we might actually know. Uh, this is one that, like, I highly doubt you know. I also have not played this game, actually. That's fair. All right. But I figured you'd like, I, I think, like, because I know you, per, in particular, like this kind of music. Yeah. Destiny Dragon Sh- D- Gino said, we are neither professionals nor what know what we're doing. Shush, you. <laughs> I mean, he ain't wrong, though. I mean, he's right, but it doesn't mean he should say it. <laughs> so, all right. I guess, let me, let me sort of, uh... Give, yeah, like, give the vibe give, of where I'm give, going. Give me your thoughts. Give me your thoughts. I'm hearing like a gumshoe. Like, an, like a, a noir kind oh, of vibe. Interesting. I love it when you say interesting because this is going to be from like fucking Monster Hunter or something, isn't it? <laughs> um, I believe fifth. <laughs> this is but, just like the last time we did this. See, see that, that's actually the vibe that I was not expecting you were going to get from this. Really? Yeah. I thought you were going to go in a completely different direction, but I'll say the reason why in a bit. I don't want to spend too much time on my grizzled detective man. How do I draw fedora again? Like a real um, detective fedora. Um, <laughs> see that? See, I, I, I'm not entirely sure. Like, see, detectives, like, I wear one of two things, either fedoras or berets. 
I do really dig the pianos and the guitar of this of this song, though. Yeah, it's like I like it. Like, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am loving this direction here. Uh, and the stream is and, and the stream is coming through great. Oh, great! Awesome! I'm glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, like I'm seeing every pen stroke, every like detail that's coming through. I am digging this. How do I draw a fedora? One of life's greatest <laughs> mysteries. Uh, Wander said, "Give him a detective trilby." <laughs> <laughs> um, Oscar, what detectives wear berets? Maybe not any famous ones, Hunter, but um, like. Or are you talking about like that hat that Sherlock Holmes wears? Exactly, kind of. You know, like maybe maybe not detectives, but like you know, gumshoe type character. There are some gumshoe type characters in the media that wear berets instead of fedoras. Like maybe in the more like modern setting, rather than like you know, film noir type aspect. Film noir is definitely a lot more like you know sleek, a lot more sophisticated, as it were. Yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely going with uh, with more more of a noir character. Mm-hmm. The thing is, like, now that you're drawing it, and I'm seeing it, and I'm listening to the music, yeah, I can totally see it. You're kind of, like, seeing, like, some misty, like, streets of L.A., right? Yeah, Like, yeah. in, like, the 30s. Oh, Wambu says, uh, Naoto from Persona wears a beret. There you go! She is a detective. That is very true. That is, that of, is exactly- Of that, sorts. That is actually true. Right. You know, Nato Shiragane is like peak character design. I'm gonna give him like a bloodied up like band-aid patch. And you know what else I'm gonna do? Yeah. I'm gonna give him a black eye. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna give him a black eye. Like, like a guy who's like been grizzled and has been in a scuff or like, you, you know what? Like, I'm getting like Sort of like film noir as Bigby Wolf vibes from this guy. Kind of. I think that's like, like, like a little more suave. Yeah. A little more like you know, a, a little more. How do I put this? I don't know. I think that's the direction I somehow went. Mm -hmm. Uh. Pioke said, "Damn, that guy had a bad day yesterday." If uh, Dojima was in a film noir style, yes. <laughs> Yes, absolutely. All right. Uh, I think I think I'm content with the sketch. So tell me, what game is this from? <laughs> oh man, I love that you went all detective here, but the game the game that this song is from has nothing to do with detectives. I figured it never does. Yeah. Um. Uh. This was submitted by Zashoud. This is the Graveyard of Darkness from Etrian Odyssey Five. What? <laughs> yep. It's the third Labyrinth theme. Oh, wow. I was really off. <laughs> yeah, at Etrian Odyssey, man. I don't think I... I was like, this This song's from Etrian Odyssey? Excuse me? I don't think I've ever played. I've never played Etrian Odyssey, ever. Yeah. Oh, that's so... I love this direction you went with this, though. Yeah. I can totally see the reason why you did that. I, 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 went, I went detective. Good, good. I love it. Good choice. Yeah, no, that was an excellent choice, Zashad. Well done. Yeah. All right. Playing mystery song two, three, two, one, play. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is so pretty. I figured you'd like this one. Yeah. Who submitted this one? Um, do you want me to tell you right now? Yeah, why not? Um, yeah. Uh this one this one was submitted by T Balin. Okay. I I will you know, admit I'm going to check out what Wambu sent me. Everybody is saying that this sounds really familiar, and it sounds kind of familiar to me too. Really? Yeah, watch it be from a game I've never fucking heard of. <laughs> um, actually, it's 
I, I, I will say this much right now. Uh huh. It is from a game you've heard of. I, it, I don't oh. know whether you. I, oh. I, I don't know whether you've played it before, but it is from a game you've heard of. Oh. Hmm. Jalari says, "Why do I want to guess that Toeful boyfriend?" <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. How could okay, nobody yes, uh, submit into Pigeon Game? Uh, compression actually successful, so I'll be able to do this um pretty easily. Okay, awesome. I'm actually going to be really, really uh like amused by like how people react to this one. <laughs> like once I actually reveal what the song is. Oh, I'm lucky. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Lucky! Thank you! Thanks, Mitch, I appreciate it. It always surprises me when you come in and give gift subs. Oh my god, it's cute! Kawaii! Adorable! So, let me, I guess, sort of give you the vibe of where my mind is going right now. Yeah. I'm picturing childhood best friend in a fantasy game. Save your work. Oh, shoot. Okay, save my work. Save my work. Save my work. Okay. Uh, yep, Shadowy uh, Owl said uh, save your work. Thank you, Shadowy Owl. I appreciate you. All right. Draw the music. Not going to lie, my favorite one from last time was the Cuphead one. Mm-hmm. I, oh, uh, yeah, hun honey, what was, what it was, was it again? Rumor honeycomb honey Herald? Yeah, it was Rumor Honey Bottoms theme. Yeah, Honeycomb Herald. Okay, I, I, hold on, I was gonna play it a third time, but... But, uh, you think you got it? I kind of like her. I kind, I kind of so, so like we're gonna, her. Yeah, we're kind of, you're kind of getting this, like, very cute, like, Southern Belle type of, th type kinda. of character here. Also, Shadowy Owl, thank you so much for the gift subs. Thank you so much, dude. Oh, Jalari, I did see Energize. I just drank my coffee now. I don't have a lot of energy drink stuff with me. Mm-hmm. I, I, I passed on Monster for coffee today. You guys should be proud of me. All right. Yeah. Um, so... You think you got it? I, I, think, I think we've got her. That, uh, that is a very cute... That is a very cute uh, one. I like this a lot. Yeah. I love what you did with the hair. Yeah, I, I thought make it a little different. At first, honestly, you know where my brain, like, mental association kind of went? Mm hmm Applejack. All right, so you ready for the reveal? Yes, I would like to know what the reveal is. You guys are going to laugh at this one. So, submitted by T. Balin. Okay. This is the blacksmith's theme from Sonic and the Black Knight. Oh! Okay, no, because I have played Sonic and the Black Knight. Okay, that's so, why so the it melody sounded is, the familiar. Melody, the melody is suddenly familiar, right? It's I Believe Myself. Mm-hmm. But it's the blacksmith menu. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Uh, so I, it was a blacksmith, but I, I don't think I was super, super off in, like, a fantasy vibe. You, you weren't, because, like, you know, it's literally, you know, Knight to the Round Table type-esque, like, uh, vibe there. Oh my gosh, Shadowy Owl, thank you so much for the gift subs. That's so kind. Hey, thank, thank you. you okay, three, two, one, play. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh, okay, Energize, hold on. All right, so take it all in. Again, nobody tell me what it is. Thank you for the bits, Shadowy Owl. Thank you so much. Oh my God, these guys are just pushing for the Jala hype train. Jalari. Jalari, you're not supposed to say what it is. Um, spoiler alert, that's not it. It's not it? Okay, good. Nope, please, that's not what it is. Please don't say what it, it is. No, I. I no, they, I think he's guessing. Okay. But yeah, no, it is not three houses. Yeah. I will say that much right now at the very least. But no, honestly, listening to it now, yeah, I can believe it's from three houses. I'll at the very least say this. This one's from Shadow Dragon, otherwise known as Skyla. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. That's not right. 
This isn't a Pokemon song at all. Hmm, I'm really trying to marinate on this one. Take your time. Yeah, I'm really thinking on it. Oh gosh. 208% hype train cheese. Good luck, guys. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. This is incredible. Okay, I see where you're going here. Okay, so I'm kind of like picturing a hero about to take on like the final boss, the BBEG. Okay. Um, what is what does BBEG mean? Big bad evil guy? Big bad evil guy. That's exactly what it really? means. Really? Yes. I, I, that was a guess. Yeah. BB, it's the BBEG, the big bad evil guy. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. Knowing that it's Shadow Dragon, I actually do have a thought as to what this could be, but I also know nothing about that franchise. So. I'm curious, and I'm curious to know what it what what you're getting at. I mean, I'm not gonna say whether you're right or not. No, I know. M maybe, you know what, maybe I'm keeping my own secrets. Fair enough. I can't unhear the three houses comparison now, I'm not gonna lie. That's totally fair. Like, that's actually, that's actually pretty, uh, that's actually pretty apt because the style is very similar. Yeah, this is also coming from me, who's been playing Three Hopes a lot lately. So yeah, it's very Fire Emblem. Um, very, very Three Houses specifically because they have the whole thing with like you know these big, large church choirs, um, you know, booming in the background. Yeah, or boom, booming in the front. So honestly, uh, yeah. my first actual initial thought. Yeah. Was Castlevania. Ah. Oh. Especially with like the choir in the beginning. Yeah. Um, my mind for some reason went Alucard. Okay, you know, I see it. Yeah, so that's why I am uh, designing sort of something very Alucard inspired. Mm -hmm. um, maybe there is a touch, a touch of like Dimitri in there. <laughs> now that we mentioned the fire, now the that, fire emblem now that here. we got fire emblem brain worms all up in there, so I gave him like this big kind of like fluffy uh, side to shoulder thing. He's got like the really long, like flowy hair. He's got like a scar on his eye because probably mm -hmm. the BBEG gave it to him in his like last encounter. I I, lo I love the idea. I will say that. Yeah. Like, at the very least, like, it's still fun, even if some people uh, send us into this franchise-induced pigeonhole. No, no, it's no. Still, like, it, it's still fun. It's in still fairness, fun. in fairness, I was kind of thinking Castlevania and Alucard even before. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So, it's not... It's... it's I'm, I'm still going... I'm still going with my gut. What what's what's cool though, and mm -hmm. I will say this: I'm looking at this character design, right? Yes. And I could totally believe a character like this can actually exist in the game that the song is from. Oh. Okay. I, I actually wanna... can believe that this character would exist in that universe. I just want to adjust some proportionality here. I know that yep, yep. these are right. very rough uh, at the drop of the hat sketches, but uh. Ah, I see what you get. Yeah, that's good, actually. Yeah, yeah. Just, just wanted to adjust some proportions. Mm -hmm. Give him a little like nose scar. There we go. Okay. Um. Very nice. I yeah. I think this is our. I think this is our number three. All right then. You're okay. all done. Yeah, I I am. So, what what is this? What am All I right, listening to? So, 
Once again, submitted by Shadow Dragon. This is the theme of Tantal from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Okay, that was my other thought. Because it was Shadow Dragon. I was like, this is, this could be Xenoblade. See, this is why, this is why I was saying maybe I shouldn't reveal the, game, maybe, the person yeah. who submitted it before we actually draw the thing because that. But <laughs> I did not make a Xenoblade character. Here's the thing though. I can totally believe that this would exist in a Xenoblade universe. I have never played a Xenoblade game. <laughs> You've never played Xenoblade Chronicles at all? I've never played. Actually, you know what? I can believe that. Xenoblade Chronicles overall is a bit of a trip to go through. It's a lot. Yeah, uh, it, it, it was on, it was on, Xenoblade 2 was on my list mm -hmm. uh, when I got my Switch. And yeah. uh, then I just got way, 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 way too into Breath of the Wild. And then, I believe it. And then I foregore. <laughs> yeah, the, th the thing about Xenoblade Chronicles, like, don't get me wrong, like, I think Xenoblade 1 is great. Xenoblade 2, I started it and I couldn't finish it, not gonna lie. It seems long. It it's not just long, but n not to sound rude or anything, or, like, to, like, devalue the opinions of those who absolutely love uh -huh. the game. I, I, I acknowledge that it's a really good game. I couldn't get past some of the tropes. That's fair. All right, and three... Two, one, play. Ooh. Ooh. Have fun. This sounds like Kirby music. I know you can't tell me, but it sounds like Kirby. Interesting. Uh, Wombu knows it. Okay. Mitch is like, this feels familiar. Yeah. Huh. Oh, gosh. What do I... Let me move this one down here. I love seeing your PNG just change depending on you, what you're doing. Oh, yeah. My, I, my, my little rotating stills. My little PNG tuber. It, I love it. Thanks. I love it. Like, it's so simple, but it's like, yeah, that's cute. Thanks. I I had a lot of fun making all of my goofy little stills. Where is this going? Hold on. I, I think I know where you're going here, and I'm kind of digging it. <laughs> We're going for like some like astronaut doggo type thing. Uh, sort of. You'll see in a second. <laughs> <laughs> We're like space cat. <laughs> Is that Olimar crossed with the Lorax? No, 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 no. Hold on. You are you are correct with the space theming. Yeah, we got that at least. Yeah, you you have the space correct. <laughs> I like how everybody is like, uh, yeah, I guess this is a choice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, P.O. said save my work. Sorry. Yep. Oh my god, it's adorable! That is cute! I did not think you could make eyes that simply. <laughs> or like That's... those like big, like, goo goo eyes that simply. Oscar, it's mochi. <laughs> oh, it's... Or, you know what? Okay, I see it now. It's mochi, it's my cat. Aww. <laughs> it's space oh, mochi. It's cute. it's cute. You know what? Now, I remember that drawing you did a little while ago. Okay, I see it now. It's space mochi. <laughs> Space mochi. Every, oh no! Everybody in oh, chat is dropping. Hey, if you got a sub, drop the mochi screaming emoji. <laughs> so that's why I was like, I wanted to do a cute critter because it reminded me of Kirby, right? And I was right. like, okay, Kerbo, do a Kirby, do a Kirby. 
uh, and then I was like, Mochi, as I draw him as like the little like wide-eyed Gooby, could totally fit into the world of Kirby. <laughs> That's Absolutely. All the mochi emotes in the chat. Look at that. Oh my so, god. So, uh, you ready? Are you ready for the reveal then? Yes. Um, you are on the money. This is Wandaria Dream Parade from Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Okay, I haven't played Kirby and the Forgotten Land, but I was like, yep. this, this is one was a, yep, very This one was Kirby. submitted by. Yeah, no, this is very much Kirby. This was submitted by Spoopy Burb Buddy. Okay, okay. I, I have actually, like, genuinely, I've been wanting to pick up Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I highly recommend it. Because it looks like it's definitely a game that's, like, up my alley and a lot of fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. Like, I genuinely adore uh, adored playing that game. Okay, three, two, one, play now. Oh. Oh. Oh! I only heard this, I only listened to this briefly uh, when he submitted this to me, so I'm actually going into this a little bit blind myself. Yeah, Wambu, this is a bobster. Mm hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, okay, hang on a second though. That fucking. Okay. Uh, that fucking electric bass. Yeah! Yeah, no, I've never actually heard this song before full on, so this is this is this is a new one for me. Is this from a game you know? No. I no. have never I, I like I have not heard about this until today. Okay. Interesting. What's funny is that like when I saw the initial um like pose that you were going for, my immediate thought actually went to Killer Queen from JoJo. Okay, fair because I'm doing like the like the neck stuff. Yeah, the the neck and like the kind of like the top down perspective with the head. Yeah. So honestly, my uh, she go over here making the third member of Daft Punk. <laughs> honestly, my first thought was robot. Ah, okay. So um, that's where my mind went. On, on like, the, like seeing those like metal streaks actually kind of like makes me a little bit nostalgic too because I just got done rewatching um, DBZ abridged of uh, Cooler, uh, the uh, Revenge okay. of Cooler. So I'm punching you, but you ain't budging. That would be my new metal body. Which you got from the Spaghetti Star, right? Not dignifying that. <laughs> Oh man, dude! Like I love watching DBZ Abridged. I I will admit I haven't seen DBZ Abridged in forever. Mm -hmm. Uh, Wambu said, uh, "Looking really cool so far. I'm really glad I had to draw a character like this. Thanks." Thank you for the thank you for the submission, Wambu. I guess if we're going off of Shadow Dragon rules, uh, I guess if you want to name them, you can name there you them. Go. You can to you can totally name it. You can totally name uh. The Wombot, if you would. I do appreciate the emote face. Oh, uh, the, the grumpy emote face? Yeah. yeah. It's honestly, it's just a rotating slideshow of like oh, stills I've okay. made. Yeah. So it, it, it rotates between the, the same ones, but. Mm -hmm. Kind of like your PNG. Yeah, pretty much. Um,. Getting some hair here or something? Uh, like they're wires. wires. Yeah. This is sick, not gonna lie. Wambu says their name is Stella and they use they them pronouns. Ha! Huh. Hell yeah. Stella and I have that in common. <laughs> Wambu says, can I keep them? I, I mean I don't see why not. <laughs> um, but I think I'm done so with uh Stella. So All right. what, awesome. what is, uh, what is they from? 
Um, this is from a game called Racing Lagoon. Uh, the theme is called South Yokohama, which I'm assuming is a track theme. Okay. I have... I'm assuming this is a. I, I'm assuming this is a racing game, and the uh, track is South is South Yokohama. Okay, so gonna sound. That's my best guess. Gonna sound totally weird. Yeah. There was an old PlayStation Two game where yeah. you played as like racing robots. Uh huh. Called Kinetica. And like I said, it was from the PlayStation 2, and I used to play it all the time. But that yeah. is where my mind went ah. for this. I was like, "This so sounds like a, this sounds like a track from Kinetica." You know, you know, it's funny too because you're not totally off. Because like, if my assu- if my assumption is correct, mm-hmm. and like Racing Lagoon is a racing game, then yeah, you're not far off. Yeah. Uh, Wombu <laughs> says Racing Lagoon is a PS1 racing game from 1999. Okay. There you go. All right. All right, three, two, one, play. Oh, 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 (laughs) oh. I think I can safely say this one was submitted by just Jeffrey. Hold on, I love this. Have fun. Oh man. Something tells me I may have just added something to to uh, uh, Shika's uh, to Shika's playlist. Unironically, this is the kind of music that I listen to when I work. I will I will send you the link to it later. Interestingly enough, there's another song in this, um, in this game in particular that I listen to on a regular basis. Oh, so it's, it's a game Oscar knows. Yes. Okay. Not only do I know it, I've played it and beaten it. Okay. So I take it you're enjoying this one. I do. I, I like this one a lot. Hmm. Oh, the glasses are a beautiful touch. Thanks. I was thinking of, uh, if I were to color them in, I honestly think I would make them like green or orange. Um, I'm getting, I'm getting Futaba vibes from this. A little bit. I'm, I'm, I, I'm trying to give like Shibuya District, uh, vibes. What's what's up? Okay, there's something really, really hilarious about me watching you draw this, but I'll reveal what it is afterwards. Okay, fair enough. Oh my lord. Is that a good oh my lord? It's a hilariously good oh my lord. (laughs) Okay. You and I are kind of just vibing to this, aren't we? Kind of. But I don't want to go too far on her. You're, so, you're going pretty far with this one. Yeah, I don't like. I don't want to go any farther, you know, on number six. So what? What's she from? What's she okay. from? Okay. Okay. So before I reveal where it's from, do me a favor. Yeah. Go on Google and look up Velvet Chair Girl. Oh, it's No More Heroes. Yep, from No More Heroes 3. This, oh! this theme is called Musical Chair. It's when you fight Velvet Chair Girl. So when I was looking at, you know, the hair and the glasses, look at this! Oh! I was like, you're, you are on point with this! Oh, shoot, I haven't, oh my God, wow. That's awesome. Yeah, like the hair, the glasses, the like, the kind of like casual bl- Like I can believe this is what Velvet Chair Girl might actually look like if she weren't all dolled up with the beads and everything. You know where my mind actually was going? What? Casual Jet Set Radio future. Yeah! Like lo-fi Jet Set Radio. Yeah, I, I can believe that. Yeah, so- yeah, uh, Here's the thing though, like again, when I saw, when I saw the glasses- 
Yeah, when I saw the glasses and the little bead under her eye and like, you know, the hair, where you're going with the hair, I was like, oh my gosh, she's just straight up drawing Velvet Chair Girl. Oh, wow. That's so weird. All right, playing Mystery Song 7 now. Oh. So I, w- I will fully admit. Yes. These fantasy ones are a bit tougher for me. Really? Yeah. Like, if you think about the last three, they all had, like, very different vibes. Mm-hmm. So, like, fantasy music or, like, music that's a bit, like, epic and, and swelling like this. I, my brain kind of always goes to the same place, and I don't want to do that. I can see that, yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm really thinking on this one. All right. This part in particular always gets me about yeah. this theme. Those choirs. Why do I feel like I know this game? Any thought processes as to why? Uh, yeah, but I don't want to say anything. (laughs) All right, all right. Hmm. And I'm really curious as to what you think it's from. Okay, so you do, do you genuinely want to know? I'm not going to say whether it's right or not. I know, I know you're not. And I am sure this is from like, again, like Monster Hunter or something. Uh Uh-huh. I get Bayonetta Angel Boss vibes. Interesting. Yeah. Like the big, crazy, like three-headed angels. So like, that's what I'm going with. Like the ones where she's like, flipping around and, like, jumping off of, like, pieces of flying cathedral. Oh my god, I can totally see this. Yeah! And what's what's interesting to me is that you're not too far off Oh no! (laughs) Uh, now comes the fun part of I have to, like, draw that? Oh, that's so interesting, the direction you're going with this. I'm loving this. Like, now, now that I know what you're talking about with the three-headed thing, I'm like, oh, fuck, this is going to be sick. This is going to be, like, some fucking blasphemous s vibes going on here. Kind of, yeah. I love it. Okay, okay, I see what you're putting down. Also, P. Oaks is like, she goes drawing the BBEG now. <laughs> kind of, yeah. By the way, like, the way you, like, put together, like, your ideas as to, like, trying to determine where these songs are from. Yeah. It just reminds me that I have to do another guess that music track with comic foil sometimes, because that's exactly the kind of shit that I love doing, is like listening to the instruments, the themes, the like patterns of these songs and be like, what does this sound like? Oh yeah. It is actually one, it's actually one of my favorite aspects about like video game music and trying to determine what games have what kind of music. Yeah. Oh, for uh, sure. Because it's like, yeah, you you like you can spot patterns. You can spot like, you, you know, themings oh. and like you know trends. Hunter Spy said, "Save my work." And Joe said, "It's the song when you face off against Paimon Genshin Impact." <laughs> this one's like probably the most complicated one I've been working on. Yeah. So I won't dwell on it for too too long. Yeah, do what you gotta. Do what you gotta. Yeah. I'm just kind of, I'm just having fun here, right? Yeah. Now. Well, wait, this is number seven. Yeah. Oh fuck it, I'll go for as long as I want then. Yeah, we're we're making great time on it. Yeah, right? we've only been at this for an hour and a half. Yeah. Less even because again, we didn't start exactly at eleven. Uh, according to Streamlabs, we've been going at this for an hour and twenty-two minutes. Yep. There you go. Uh, oh, that, oh, that is such a cool idea. What, what I'm working on? Yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely getting, like, Bayo, Bayo vibes from this. Yeah. Uh, press, uh, 
Uh, shout out in the chat. Who's excited for Bayonetta 3? Me! I, I am so hyped for Bayonetta Me! 3, man. I'm excited! I am so excited. I cannot wait to play Bayonetta 3. I had a very, like, moist critical, like, Whoa! That's what I'm talking about, baby! That's what it's all about! When, like, I saw the trailer. Uh-huh. Ah, oh, that's so cool. I'm very curious to see what this is from. Because I'm not correct. I know I'm not correct. But I'm very curious to know what what it's from. Straight up, I, like, what do you think this is from? I, I don't know. Because I obviously know it's not from Bayonetta. But that's the vibe I got from it. So that's what I went with. Interesting. But I... But again, I, I don't know. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, I can totally see this being like some like wicked ass like final boss. Holy shit, that is a sick ass design. Thank you. I've been told I'm good at coming up with those on the fly. <laughs> That's why we're doing this right now. Yep. Holy fuck. That is so sick. Look, okay, I'm loving this. Someone in fucking, like, someone in, someone pulled this shit for like a blasphemous sequel or something. Cause holy crap, that is awesome. Hey, looking. I'm available for hire. If anybody who works for games is watching. <laughs> Hot damn, this looks so sick. Okay, I like honestly, this one might be my favorite so far. Holy shit. That I, is so cool looking. I got a little extra with it. Yeah, definitely. I got a, I got a little extra. Got a little got a got a touch carried away, but I think that's good. Uh-huh. I think that's good. I I think that's by uh my number 7. Awesome. Yo, I'm so down for this design. All right. Shock me. What game is this from? The thing is, like, I could totally see this being, like, some big, like, Bayonetta theme. But no. From Monster Hunter Rise, Malzino. I knew it was Monster Hunter! Hello? Hello? Ah! <laughs> Chica? It's always Monster Hunter! <laughs> <laughs> this one was submitted to me to us by Yumi, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, no, like, uh, she, she, I was playing Monster Hunter with uh, Gino and the others, uh, with, uh, uh, and we were playing through Malzino, Ooh. and we were talking about the music. She was like, yeah, like, she was like, oh, what is this music? I like sent her the link to it, or like I told her to look it up, and she was like, oh my god, this theme is insane. Absent Coder, thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate thank you. it. Okay, hitting play now. Ooh. So what are you getting from this? Hmm. Hmm. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'll come up with something. Oh, North, it's funny you say that. It's really funny that you say that, North. What does he say? He said, Wounded Flag Bearer Holding Strong was my suggestion. Ah, okay. And maybe not wounded, but definitely like a flag like somebody with their their battle stand not their like their their the, the battle flag is what I was going for or where I was going to go uh huh so very interesting this track is incredible though even if I can't place where it's from but I feel like on some level I've heard it before um 
I've mentioned this in the past. Uh, I, 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 I'm not super, super big on like uh, fantasy themed games. Um, so like, for me, I, I feel like that's why like I know uh, less fantasy game stuff. So for me, this is this is new territory. Okay, I see where you're going with this. Yeah. Like the headband. Is that like a headband and ponytail edition? It's uh, it's a bandage. Oh, oh, oh! I see it now. I yeah, see it now. it's a bandage. So this guy's been through been through a few scraps. Yep, and based on the sound of this music, he's still going through it. Okay, kind of like a, you know, determined thing, where it's like, yeah, we're, we're going through a shit ton here, but we still gotta keep going. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, the, the flag thing is really, really cool, actually. That makes for a great backdrop. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, the reason we got on the North and I sharing a brain cell is because he said about, like, wounded yeah, soldier bearing, right? holding the battle standard. And I was mm -hmm. like, that's kind of where I wanted to go with it initially. Mm -hmm. So I was like, A, A, uh, same wavelength, same brain mm -hmm. cell. Uh, I think that's good. I think that's All generally right. where I wanted it to go. Yeah, no, that, oh, that looks fantastic, actually. The flag yeah. does a lot. Yeah, I thought so. Um, this is Phantasmagoria from Soul Calibur 4. Ah, okay, uh, this, okay, this okay. was submitted by Jess. This was submitted by Jess Lisa Hillman. Um, the whole night struggling aspect actually is kind of on point because this song is often associated with the struggle between Nightmare and Siegfried. Nice. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, so we have songs number nine and ten to go. Mm-hmm. Playing number nine now. Again, give it a minute. Okay. Ragnar just kind of take this. Just kind of take this one in. Okay. Ragnarok, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Have fun. Oh, boy. Just gonna preface this right now. I I, I fucking dig this theme. Yeah. Oh fuck! I just saw what you're drawing, and I'm like, fuck yes. Yeah. That's why I'm like, hold on. I know where I'm going. I am completely ignoring the chat, by the way, so I apologize. So, general thoughts on the theme? <sighs> okay. It feels like a fighting game theme to me. All right. Um, I don't know what, but so my mind went, obviously, it's very, uh, it's got a very specific sound to it. Mm -hmm. Uh, very, very, very tribal. Um, mm -hmm. so that's kind of where I'm going. I am sort of pseudo designing a fighting game character. Oh, yes. Um, there's something about masks. There's masks, something about characters with masks on. Masks are all like, they're such a cool character design. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at what you're you're making, and I'm like, yeah, I could totally see this in the fighting game. Yeah. This looks so cool. I'm kind of imagining that this character, like, maybe uses, like, claw-based weapons. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ass encoder. Kind of getting T-Hawk slash Decapri slash Tam Tam vibes. Oh, okay. That's fair. Hmm. How you feeling about this one? I feel pretty good about it. And you know what? I like uh -huh. where it's at. I like where it's All at. Right. So I don't wanna I don't wanna overstay its welcome. I don't wanna overwork it and then end up with something that I hate. So All right. So you got it? I think so. What are they? What are they from? Alright. The title of this theme, uh, first of all, submitted to us by D. Tyler Fultz. Okay. The title of this theme is Hinamatum, which translates from the Nes Perse language to Thunder. Chief Thunder from Killer Instinct. Okay. Okay. So I was not wrong about a fighting game. You were not. I this is not Chief wrong. Thunder's theme. Okay. Word. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's very Killer Instinct. But yeah, this is Mick Gordon, and Mick Gordon is a fucking genius. Yeah, yeah. So this is my submission. All right, starting number ten now. Oh. oh. Again, just a reminder in the chat: no one say what it is if they know it. You may guess, but preface it with "This is my guess." Mm-hmm. Feels, feels. Hmm. I know it's not No More Heroes. Because you picked one something. Per, from I, no I do More the Heroes. whole one for franchise thing, yes. Yeah. Feels like it could be from a lot of games, actually. Yeah, this bat, this uh, baseline slaps. Mm hmm. I am going to say at least this much. Mm -hmm. I listened to this theme a lot when I was in high school. Okay. I'm on, that's all I'm going to say. I listened to I listened to this a lot when I was in high school. Not because I listened to it on my own time, but rather when I was playing this game specifically, it played a lot. So it is an older game. I mean, if you consider high, me being in high school old. Well, that was a decade ago. True. <laughs> Fuck me, man. <laughs> that was more than a decade ago. <laughs> I, was th I was 21. <laughs> I was in college by that point. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't didn't mean to uh, ruin your day. Nah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Actually, now I'm going to look it up. When did this game came out? come out. Yeah, uh, not that it'll help me much, but... Oh my god, yeah, um... <laughs> um... The game is... <laughs> wow. The game is 15 years old. <laughs> so there you go. Okay. So what kind of vibes are you getting from this? I'm getting very, very jazz club vibes. Yeah, I can totally see that. I'm getting... Uh... Here's a funny thing. I totally predict people are going to be like... Slap, like going to have like face palms and be like, Really? That's where this is from? I'm predicting that's going to be the case. Uh, you know what it gives me the vibes of, and it's kind of what I'm leaning into? 
Yeah. Uh, the uh, the theater sequences at the beginning and the end of Catherine. I see what you're getting at. Yeah. Yeah, with the the lady with the big bright red afro. Yeah. Yeah. It amazes me how you can just get a good design going, like just on the fly. It's like, honest, that, is, that, is, that is a skill. Honestly, it's it's doing this is genuinely like a really fun artistic exercise. Mm -hmm. Oh, I imagine so. Yeah, I I I did not intend. I did not think it would be that good of an exercise, uh, but it, it like, really is. Yeah, no, I can imagine. Like seriously, like I'm looking at this and I'm like, damn, girl, you are getting this on point. Like just on the fly, like that—that's incredible. Like honestly, Thanks. why does your dancing emote fit with this song? It okay? Shockingly, the beats per minute that I have the dancing emote synced up to works with so much stuff. It's I, like I, I, legit I, 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 I scary. That. It's just like wow. No, like it—it it was unintentional. Uh huh. So, um, looking at the comments, or looking at the chat, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and uh, say all of your guesses Not wrong. have been wrong. <laughs> no, no, one, no one's even guessed the franchise yet. Although I will say one kind of sort of franchise, like, like I guess, I guess like you could say if you did guess the franchise, but not really. But no one's gotten it yet. No one has even gotten the. No one's even gotten the game yet. Woof. How do you get fingers like that so far? I don't ah. know. It's like muscle jealous. memory. It, it really. Jealous. It really is. How do you get hands like that? Come on. <laughs> that, that's not fair. <laughs> I I'm not kidding. It's like muscle memory. It really is. I, I, I am. At Oh, like I'm saying, it's impressive, but Jesus Christ, that's not fair. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, she looks like a character from Stardust Crusaders or Golden Wind. I could see Golden Wind. I could see Golden Wind. Yeah, yeah. I could see that. Like she's like she's Golden Wind and she's like you know this big old uh, jazz like this big like jazz themed uh, stand user and her stand's name is like uh, is like uh, is like Little Armstrong. Oh yeah. Oh no, her stand is named Fitzgerald after Ella Fitzgerald. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah. It's the Gerald. You can like hear it though. <laughs> yeah. Let me adjust her neck and head size just a bit. Oh, you're going on full on torso with this one. I wasn't planning on it, but yeah, you no, know, you're, you're going full on with this. It one. just kind of, it just kind of worked itself out, didn't it? I mean, it's, Admitted, it's... admittedly, I kind of want you to, I kind of want to, like, maybe, like, maybe I'm a little biased because you know, I'm it's like your ear pick. Like, this is the like, but the, to see you like go this far, I admittedly want to see you finish this one. Oh man, I would, I would have to take some time to like really refine the sketch, but yeah. Yeah, but like, I mean, look at this design though. I am, I am admittedly still digging the whole Golden Wind Ella, Ella Fitzgerald type oh, stand yeah. user thing. Oh yeah, like I, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that too. Oh, it's so Gerald. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Good lord, you went all out with her. I think she's done. Uh, hold on, let me let me turn on, let me shrink her down, let me incorporate yes. her with the group, with all the other ones that I did. Yep, yep. Look at this variety of characters we have here. Yeah. Okay. So, where wh what's the track? Um, one person 
in the chat got the franchise. Okay. So, the title of this song is called The Classroom. From Mario Strikers Charged. Really? Yep. Oh. This, is, this is the theme for the classroom field in Mario Strikers Charged. No fucking shit. Mm-hmm. Wow, would not have guessed that in a million years. Right, though? <laughs> would not have guessed that in a million years. Everyone in the chat is like, excuse me, what? Okay. <laughs> no, I picked this one specifically because everyone's going to be like, this is from <laughs> Mario? Excuse me? I, sh <laughs> I should have known. I should have known <laughs> that it was something really out there because I'm like, okay, this is the Oscar track. This is Oscar's pick. I I'm really, I'm really actually happy that like this is kind of a thing that we are able to do now. Yeah. And, oh, uh, Z said, energize. I don't have any more energy stuff with me. I drank all my coffee, but I will drink one oiter for you. You know what? Um, I think I'm going to take that energize in the form of let's go get lunch. Let's go get lunch. Um. Well, it's it's already past lunchtime. I'm hungry. That is true. Let's go get lunch. All righty then. Thank All you guys right. for coming in. Thanks so much, guys. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed and uh, have a good rest of your day. Look forward to the uh, post on Twitter. And thank you for all of the gift subs. That was really, really kind. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you guys so much for that. That was aw Thank you for the hype train. That was really awesome. <laughs> all right. Mwah. All right. Bye. Laters.